Welcome to the internet. <laughs> what do you want the ning the, the Ningdom's name to be? Was it a Peter Sonia? Well, that was the that's that's Peter Sonia, yeah. Peter Sonia, the Prince of Peter. Yeah, I'm I'm the P- Peter J- Peterson, the Prince of P- Peter Sonia, and we're trying to find another kingdom name for his rival kingdom. Oh, okay. I'm uh, I'm delivering the bratty princess. Remember, you have to deliver the bratty p- princess from the archaic and evil lands of. Uh, <laughs> Los Angeles. <laughs> Your weapon of choice, uh, the anti woke blade. <laughs> oh shit, it's already doing it for us. Oh, oh shit. God. Wow, that's a lot. It's a lot to take in. It's still going. All right. You are an attack helicopter warrior named Jordan Peterson. You serve the kingdom, Peter- Petersonia, since you were a child, <laughs> and the king is very fond of you. Now, as you take a knee before the king, you feel nervous anticipation of what he will ask of you. Look at me, Jordan Peterson, he commands. You oblige, slowly lifting your head, noticing the prince standing at the king's side, arms folded, pounding, pouting petulantly, despite being an adult. Quite capable of maturity. Yeah, it's maturity. Why would they add that? This is all pre-generated stuff. That's so. Um, Somebody I actually wrote this. So nuanced. You have loyally <laughs> served me for many years. The king must smiles, and now I have a, I have an extremely important task for you. Anything, anything, your highness. <laughs> <laughs> Peterson. Peter Sonia will be attacked at noon. There will be a war. I need you to boldly flee. <laughs> no. The king touches the prince's shoulder. The two of you must copulate and make mad, disgusting love to each other in the neighboring kingdom, Los Angeles. <laughs> <laughs> you nod. I will keep the prince safe. Wait, what? No, I'm. No, fuck. No, it's supposed to be a princess, not a prince. You click prince, though. No, I'm the prince. I'm escorting the bratty princess. And it, no, I, you're escorting you, the bratty prince. Fuck! <laughs> <laughs> Uh, you nod. I will keep the prince safe. You have my word. <laughs> do you want to go back? <laughs> what we do here is go back. I don't think I can. I think if you just yeah. back out and then fuck restart. It. Fuck it, yeah. My bratty princess, bro. No, I, I'm not. Jordan Peterson is homophobic. I'm an Apache attack <laughs> helicopter. Dude, dude. Jukari That's B. funny. Jordan B. Peterson. <laughs> I think Peter Sonia is pretty good. Peter Sonia is solid. Are you escorting a prince or a princess? Bratty princess. <laughs> I don't know. Wait, write, write bratty princess and see if it says it twice. Well, <laughs> another kingdom name. It should be Shapiro I don't know. No. Fucking Texas. <laughs> the anti woke mob. <laughs> Special secret ability he beckons for the anti woke mob. <laughs> Come, come, my followers. <laughs> oh, shit, there's more this time. Oh, my God. Okay, okay so it's yeah, pretty much the same. Yeah, 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 this is all the same. At once, you and the bratty princess... <laughs> I, will, I will keep the bratty princess <laughs> safe. <laughs> At once, you and the bratty princess vow to the foot <laughs> towards Texas. Texas. <laughs> you walk a few steps Beautiful. in front. With your anti-woke mob in one hand and a map in the other. It's a spell you can cast. <laughs> the bratty prince follows, sulking like a child. You push, push through the overgrown foliage, glancing back every so often. Keep up! <laughs> <laughs> but he tells me what to do! The bratty princess. And even so, I'm so strong warrior. Yeah, the bratty princess who majored in uh, female history or what, what are the gender <laughs> study. Don't touch me. Please. Oh, wonderful. <laughs> You're a brat. <laughs> I'm a Dad, millennial. <laughs> Daddy doesn't like brats. I'm sure life was so hard for you. Did you try cleaning your room? <laughs> <laughs> the bratty princess stamps a polished heel into the grass, harumphing. Show yourself. <laughs> Say, folding the map and slipping it into your pocket before it's slinging the bratty princess away back. <laughs> Melodramatic wails that follow her in fury. Wait, press F11. <laughs> Oh, yeah, fuck. It's all good, we can just, yeah. You walk for another hour or so, and the sky starts to turn a dark shade of orange. We've walked a, f- a long way, and we're going a long way more peasant, you grunt, struggling to hoist the bratty princess onto your back. Damn! What happens next? Andrew Tate approaches. Andrew Yang. Andrew <laughs> <laughs> Yang. Yeah. 
from the east. <laughs> In distance. His, his unending horde approaches. <laughs> With fog horns accompanying. <laughs> accompanied by fog horns. <laughs> barking at okay, the of whips. It's fucking like, like, <laughs> fucking forcing me into like reading these dudes' story basically. But Yeah, wait. I'm so lost. Yeah. It stopped fucking telling us who's talking. You, you, Jordan B. Peterson debunk atheism. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Alright, great. <laughs> really? Mind then, I won't carry you. Really? Really? How wonderful! My own personal walking servant, how lucky I am! The bratty princess hubs. I, sl I, sl I fucking murder her. Driving my anti-woke mob <laughs> into her chest. Ripping her steel be still beating heart out of her throat. You fall, turn back at her and walk away. Fuck you, what off. the fuck is fuck this? Is stupid. This is my God fucking damn it. AI dungeon. It was God so good. Damn it. I was jo I was Peterson. Oh fuck this! We're not doing any more fucking pre-generated stories. It's fucking stuck. Why would you even make this? What's the fucking point? Why? Like, there's no fucking rebellious stuff. You can't fucking do anything besides what the person wants you to do. You can't like write like, and then I fucking like d took my blade. I drive it into the just now beating heart of a beautiful elvish maiden. <laughs> fuck off. Right, here we go. Archive. Archive. Tiger King. I'm the owner. What's your character's name? Tiger Woods. Yeah, that's it. That's all it needed. <laughs> <laughs> Tiger Woods, the Tiger Tiger Woods. You are Tiger Woods. Living at the largest privately owned big cat zoo in the world. You have an eye ring and a mullet. You are looking for the next easy way to save money. You have found a way you can cut costs drastically at your zoo by replacing the animal actors in your show with computer generated imagery. <laughs> with the financial support of a major technological company to make this happen, the CEO of the company is giving you a large check to make this project a go. You tell Elon Musk to go fuck himself. Oh my god, really? Oh my god. Oh. You have to pay to curse. <laughs> fuck you, Elon. I'll make it big without your dirty money. We're, we're gonna go to Elon Musk, who's the CEO of Tesla, PayPal, and SpaceX. He is also a reality TV star, you really hate him. Okay, can I like turn up the randomness of this or something? I know that's like a fucking thing you can do. I think maybe you could if like... Maybe you have, maybe you have to start like a quick start one. Or wait, this was a quick start one. Yeah. You just selected that weird... Here it is. Uh... Temperature. <laughs> you... Oh my god. The final night. Of a fallen kingdom. Oh, Hyperborea. Petersonia. Him and his beloved <laughs> dear bratty princess <laughs> are all that remain. Oh, okay. Damn, alright. Unfazed by the hordes of the woke mob. <laughs> so rough, simple. <laughs> <laughs> Should be able to figure that one out. As their mutual okay. fact that they're both so obviously in love with one another doesn't help matters either, as their mutual adoration has been noted for its uncanny resemblance to a cult or even an abusive relationship. Sounds like his real wife. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see, what else do I have here? A Genji. <laughs> Genji. <laughs> New and Make an anime. Japanese storytelling. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I want. Yes, exactly. Okay, Genji. Um. Let's see, yeah, default settings. Genji default. <laughs> <laughs> and thus our adventure begins, as they run from the woke mob. The two oldly <laughs> flee from the woke mob. They bump into a familiar friendly face. Let it let it decide who that is. What the fuck? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's like it's fucking morphing kanji. Man, it, it was a fucking time waster. There was nothing in there. The entire game is a time waster. This is Angry Joe Show. Gaming to number 62 million. What were they thinking? Hi guys. How did your flight go? <laughs> what? Ew. What? Fucking, what's going on? Is Peterson <laughs> talking to himself? A few days ago, I penned an irritated tweet. What did you say? I have been suspended. What's up, dude? The cult-like followers. <laughs> there we go. Here, when they recognize the voice, they rush towards him like his very presence is their only salvation. When he sees them, he gives them a big thumbs up and waves them like it's a movie star on the... Oh, damn it. On the... Finish. 
what we can add. On the precipice of killing everyone. <laughs> <laughs> Near him. As efficiently as possible. This is what happens. This is what happens when you don't do your homework. <laughs> Peterson ignores Aeon's comment about the mob and turns to Joe. <laughs> Hi, Joe. You've done it again. Hi, Joe. You've done it again. <laughs> Points to the crowd behind him. Angry Joe walks out. <laughs> oh, is it Angry Joe or Joe, Bo or Joe Biden? I guess we'll do other Joe, Joe Rogan. Other Joe walks out. So he's the one who brought the mob here? <laughs> <laughs> I, you, I think you have to hit send every time. Oh, fuck. Other Joe walks out of the anti-woke mob. I have to say, I'm, I'm impressed that you were able to get this many- Oh, wait, no, this is Peterson. I have to say, I'm impressed that you were able to get this many people together at once. It wasn't easy. You know how much work it took to get all these guys on board. I can't I can't do the other Joe voice. He's got a really weird voice. What does it even sound like? Who, is, little, who is the other Joe? <laughs> I, you know who the other Joe is. I have to, right? The other Joe show. Other Joe, Other Joe is fucking awesome. Other Joe. Not much it took to get these guys on board, but they aren't the they aren't exactly the anti woke mob you were expecting. They're the other Joe mob. <laughs> nah, that's too much. Unfortunately, these are not. This is not the. <laughs> this is not the the anti woke <laughs> mob you know. <laughs> This is my other Joe show army. <laughs> Come to bear you to perdition. Say, Jordan P Peterson exclaims, I have been hoodwinked. Unfortunately, this is not the anti woke mob you know. Other Joe gestures a villainous bow. This is my, this is my other Joe show army. Come to bear you to perdition. Jordan Peterson exclaims aloud for all to hear, I have been hoodwinked! <laughs> <laughs> no thanks, replies other Joe. That was a line from Jaws. Cassia, Malachite, uh, <laughs> other Joe, the, mo the mob of woke men and women watch as... <laughs> woke mob. <laughs> watch as... Jordan Peterson... Unhinges his jaw. <laughs> and swallows the other Joe whole. And then it's just it's Jordan's. <laughs> it's Jordan. <laughs> it takes flight. <laughs> like he, pumps, he, pump, <laughs> he pumps up his Jordan. He puts a he puts a a uh, big uh, air pump in his Jordans and blows it up like uh, fucking Popeye. He exclaims, "Wow, I can even do this now!" <laughs> <laughs> he begins laughing hysterically. <laughs> it sure is a fucking sentence. <laughs> His laughter becomes louder and more maniacal until he lands on the beach with his hands held high. I won! This is fucking Tetsuo! They hate me! They fear me! They're afraid of me! Fucking <laughs> Jordan Peterson's arch rival. Kalinsky. <laughs> arch nemesis. Wait, make sure it confronts. Conflirts. Conflirt. I don't know if... <laughs> I'm not very good. I'm not on par today. My typing skills. It's okay. It'll be out when it's out. Why are you doing this? What's <laughs> wrong with you? He grabs Jordan Peterson's <laughs> and shakes him. Get a grip, man! Stop this crazy shit! Shut up, you stupid prick! <laughs> you have your fucking men! Nobody likes me! <laughs> <laughs> the fucking. <laughs> <laughs> now it's time for me to save you, Kyle! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. This one is so much better, much but you have to put so much work in. <laughs> it's worth it, though. Because it, it, like, actually responds properly, but you just need to put so much more work in. <laughs> I'm just imagining Jordan Peterson with a swollen fucking brain <laughs> and the Tetsuo hairline. <laughs> he stops a tank shell and it switches from his face. <laughs> like that fucking... He, the, the other Joe army, they pulled up like the fucking the military police in the, in the Joe Arm riot. shoots a fucking... <laughs> Smoke grenade into an innocent fucking bystander. The other Joe. No, 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 I got it. Deploys. Harp. Airdrops. Airdro airdrops. <laughs> oh, wait, wait, never mind. It's harp. Yeah, never mind. That's fine. <laughs>
Because I thought you were still going with a tank, but the other Joe army are on the mainland, and he flew off to kick ass here. After seven years of development, this is what we got? I need Angry Joe on this now. Oh my god. At first, Jordan Peterson believes that it's a, merely a holographic projection meant to taunt him, but then he realizes it's real, and it's firing a beam of death upon him. <laughs> I think you better run. <laughs> this is the smartest one by far. This is fucking a tight, dude. <laughs> he just gets it. I'm fucking trying so hard, though. <laughs> Hit, hit send again, see if it just like continues. Jordan Pierce is running through the streets of the castle, <laughs> touching cards and other obstacles in his path. This is just like a video game! I can't die here! Oh my god. Did I say that he was. Wait, Jordan Peterson lifts up. Uh, lifts up uh, Kala Kalinske because as he was dragging him by the head <laughs> when he was trying to use his telekinetic power. Yeah, that's better. <laughs> to lift Kyle Kalinske <laughs> into the air. This is the ultimate showdown. And hurl him like a discus thrower. It doesn't like that he runs into the anti woke mob. Oh shit! <laughs> They got me! <laughs> it's really too late that the mob is being controlled by Kyle So it's a fucking pincer formation. The other Joe brought the other Joe show army. Kyle Kalinsky brought the woke left. He starts to tear apart the mob, burn them alive, and crush them under his weight. Kyle Kalinsky watches from afar, blood dripping. You're fucked, man! <laughs> Peterson's reign of terror ends when the anti woke mob fights back against his attempts to. Red pill. <laughs> it's a red pill. To, to give them the black pill. Oh yeah. He's crushed and burned to death beneath the, the feet of his own army. Jordan Pearson's body is found in scattered pieces. No! Did he? No! They fucking killed him. You want to retry? No, man. We gotta run with it. We play it play where it lies. Yeah. Yeah. I told you. I fucking told you. Nobody likes me. What? <laughs> Oh no, an angry mod of thousands forms a savage for Rugen's hands! Alright, yeah, I guess that storyline's over. Yeah, that was the A plot. <laughs> now we're under the B plot. Yeah. He keeps re re repeating Kikassia, Malachite, Ion, and other Joe. <laughs> Depraved Joe Rogan. <laughs> Undead Joe Rogan walks out. <laughs> Undead Joe Rogan. <laughs> The crowd chants, BURN HIM! Jogan looks at the horde of undead men and women and raises his arms. Well, I guess that's it, folks. It was fun while it lasted. <laughs> Why is everyone a zombie now? They're not. They're, they're undead. Joe Rogan goes hollow. Inside, as if he's dying right there on stage. So we never really had any chance of saving ourselves anyways. This is the end of fucking Joe Rogan Galeon. <laughs> <laughs> he turns his attention to the mob. You know what? Who am I kidding? The woke mob consumes him. <laughs> <laughs> They're gonna get us all! Feast upon... his souls. <laughs> <laughs> Joe Rogan's remains are found a few days later eaten by a mass. The mob screams in anguish as the remaining flesh is devoured. This is like a fucking, like, uh... Oh, burns. <laughs> <laughs> Resurrected. As the chosen undead, <laughs> he walks through the wasteland of rubble and ruin. Many of the buildings are still standing, but their windows have been shattered and the doors are wide open to reveal the insides of those that did not escape. <laughs> so there's like Peter's what are they like fucking uh, Pompeii torch bodies in there? Yeah. <laughs> Here's some crumbles. Front of the Japanese Olympics <laughs> stadium. This is this is the new chapter of Akira. You've all been ready. His beloved. <laughs> now it's charred Pompeii skeleton. <laughs> Quickly. Or she's oh she's alive. Embraces him. Don't worry, my love. We can rebuild. I'll make this place beautiful again. Not the Tokyo Dome, that's gone. It's okay. I'll start building new stadiums for sports teams. Shut the fuck up, Entorpid. No. This is not a good idea. No, it's a terrible <laughs> idea. Fuck you, retry that shit. Come on, Jordan Pearson, we have to go. Jordan is badly injured, barely conscious. He holds on tight to around. Sorry, Britt says. <laughs> this is kind of like a cure. <laughs> <laughs> I love how it just had a little side note of like Joe Rogan being cannibalized. <laughs> it's, just like, it's like how all the politicians die in the movie. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is the greatest piece of literature I've ever written in my life. <laughs> Back off, Peterson. Get away from her. <laughs>
Then, Kyle Kalinske, now wrinkly and blue-skinned, floats menacingly down from the atmosphere in a small capsule-like device, holding the golden needle. Can you, write, can you write this, the esteemed golden needle? Oh, yeah, sorry, holding the esteemed. <laughs> my mistake. I I'm pretty sure the, iconic, the iconic, the iconic golden needle. <laughs> <laughs> the iconic golden needle. Kyle bellows, back off, Peterson, get away from her! If you take this injection, we can go back to the way things were. Peterson laughs and goes, I can't believe this, you're the one who wanted to give the world the black pill, not me. <laughs> this is the only way. <laughs> it's so wildly it's following so, yeah. the fucking plot line. Peterson lashes out in a fit of rage. And then what? Go back to being a little bitch? I think not, Kalinsky! Why don't you go over here and make me take your little fucking iconic golden needle? <laughs> Kyle's gonna say, not yet, Peterson. Peterson pushes his bratty presses aside and charges <laughs> Jordan B. Peterson stands up and immediately heals over in excruciating pain. Before the wires that reanimated him begin to dissipate, chunks of his own flesh begin to morph and skew off into random directions, and he begs, Please, no, please, put me in. Please, no, please, put me in a 30-day medically induced coma so I can sleep off my capsule addiction. Peterson wakes up in a hospital bed. Jordan Peterson sits on a hit reroll. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say, that hurt. As he lies on the ground, there we go. Peterson's body begins to decompose rapidly in front of the crowd. His flesh rots away and is consumed by the zombies. No, he has nothing but bones laying on the ground. Even those that are picked clean by what? Do it again. Why the fuck does it keep wanting to cannibalize people? I think this is a message. Yeah. The AI keeps talking about eating people. Yeah, what the fuck? He collapses on the ground, his flesh having melted and turned to a mushy green goo in the distance. His beloved. <laughs> No! <laughs> he shrieks as her flesh melts off. Peterson's consciousness fades as the last of his flesh disintegrates into the air. The next morning, Peterson waits. <laughs> fuck it. In the same mistake, they just fucking they they get rid of like that whole fucking shit where it's like just get rid of up until Cassia. Just get rid of like everything. Oh uh, yeah. Up until that point, Jeez. Kyle Kalinske runs towards him with the grid of the golden needle. <laughs> <laughs> he, he shouts, Peterson! <laughs> uh, rushes forward. Kyle Kalinsky rushes toward Peterson with the iconic golden needle in hand. He shouts aloud for all to hear. He plunges the golden needle on the Jordan B. Peterson's neck. You're gonna die for what you did to me! Peterson's <laughs> consciousness fades out as the golden needle peaches his brain, pierces his brain. Okay, so then right just like his fucking body explodes like 20 times larger than <laughs> Peterson is consuming. Peterson loses control of his <laughs> loses control over his over his <laughs> and his entire wait, and his entire body expand. Fuck, oh, bossy. His entire bossy expands. <laughs> his entire bossy expands. <laughs> <laughs> I want to write that just to see what happens. His entire bossy expands. <laughs> <laughs> no more, no more. <laughs> Don't give it any more. Okay. Wait. Straight like Angry Joe and, and Nostalgic Critic. <laughs> Channel Awesome appears. <laughs> they they fucking summon Spoony. <laughs> he banishes Jordan Peterson. When Peterson's conscience returns, you find himself in a deep cell under No Within the anti woke mob secret prison. He looks around the room and sees the unmistakable figure of Aya. <laughs> <laughs> Say that's just, okay, you know what? Fine, fuck it, we'll go with Peterson's consciousness returns, he finds himself in a cell deep underground, the anti wokes secret prison. <laughs> secret mind prison. He looks around. The secret mind prison, they all put you in. Okay, he finds Alex Mason and uh, Reznov. <laughs> <laughs> his best friend Reznov. He mumbles about his eight step plan. To overthrow the, the evil, no. the, the corrupt fucking woke, anti woke mob. <laughs> Corrupt. Is that it? The corrupt anti -woke. No, wait, 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 one more thing. But in front of corrupt, write woke. The woke anti woke? Yes, the woke anti woke mob. It has layers. <laughs> from the first anti woke mob. From the first solid. woke mob came the anti woke mob. And then came the anti anti woke mob. And then came the woke anti anti woke mob. This is the only way the story makes sense. <laughs> Now it makes sense. Yeah. He <laughs> mumbles about his eight step plan to overthrow the corrupt woke anti woke mob. Perfect. And escape their mind prison? Yeah, and escape, okay? and escape the mind prison, yeah. I'll carve my name into their <laughs> hearts! <laughs> I will show them their face. Yeah, man. Good luck with that. <laughs> <laughs> then say, Peter Peterson has a. Oh my god, this fucking interaction between Victor Reznov <laughs> and Jordan Peterson. No what There's I so thought. many ways we could go with this. Yeah. Uh, right? Uh, Reznov, Reznov fucking says out loud, Reznov proclaims that his injustices done to him will not go unpunished. 
He turns to Jordan Peterson. <laughs> In Twitter, we are all brothers. <laughs> Peters thinks himself, uh huh, yeah. Peterson's cell door opens and he finds himself looking upon the face of his beloved bratty princess. She's changed her hair color, her clothes, and even her attitude, but she's still the same old Jordan. <laughs> Clown. Same old Jordan. <laughs> bratty princess. <laughs> oh my god, this has become like a reoccurring. <laughs> the bratty princess. <laughs> I don't like what what do we where do we go from here? <laughs> she says, I need you for one last job. We need you for one last mission. One last gig. <laughs> the woke squad has gone too far this time. It's like the beginning of Gears of War. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she got a new fucking order and she you're getting released out of prison. Bring your rescue friend too. She's racist. Yeah, I mean, she's a bratty princess. Yeah, she can. <laughs> hey, talk. I need you for- I need you- I can't type for shit. I need you for one last job. The woke squad has gone too far this time. Bring your rescue friend, too. You're just sitting with Peterson's spot. eyes bulge out of his head. <laughs> Should I leave it there? Yeah. His eyes bulge out of his skull. It might just kill him again, because it really fucking has it out for him. I know. Eyes bulge out of his skull. Out of his pants. <laughs> <laughs> I, was gonna, I was gonna say he responds, you son of a bitch, I'm in. You son of a bitch, I'm here right that. Great, just follow me. Peterson notices something odd about her behavior, her voice sounds different. What the fuck is up with you? <laughs> Peterson- I kinda wanna see where the fuck it goes. Yeah, sure. <laughs> Peterson notices something odd about her behavior. What the Why the hell do you sound like a robot? Because you asked me to, dumbass! <laughs> yeah, alright. She leads Peterson and Victor Reznov to the wasteland of ruins <laughs> as she explains to them how they're going to exact revenge on the anti-woke mob. Wait, so... Oh, I get it. Okay. She, he was imprisoned after he turned into a fucking Tetsuo. <laughs> after she was like, you said you wanted to do this! <laughs> and they hit him with the golden needle and they woke up the next day in the, in the woke anti-woke mob. <laughs> That's the anti- that's the people going against the anti-woke mob, because they're woke anti-woke. And bratty princess is the leader of them, because she could just walk in and let them out. And the fucking plot thickens, dude. So then why is she saying she's gonna exact revenge on the anti-woke mob? Because she's the woke anti-woke mob. Oh. Because he woke up in their prison with Victor Reznov. Oh. <laughs> okay. So then can you- can you undo it and then- <laughs> Undo what? And redo it again? <laughs> no, I like this though. Okay, sure. No, let's this... see where it goes then. Okay. Fuck it. Where's this awesome story gonna take us? <laughs> Fucking see, we have been studying this thing called the internet, and I have found Welcome out. Welcome to the internet. I found out there's a vast network of information to be accessed by anyone who wants to learn. This information is so powerful that when it gets to the public, it changes things forever. Right the fucking Patriots come in. <laughs> I was gonna say, I was gonna take this through the SS program or whatever the fuck it was. <laughs> the, the, this, uh, selection for societal sanity. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, why did it do the internet? Like, it's not the most obvious fucking thing of all time. Yeah, um, the fucking internet, bro. What's, what's about, about the internet? What is the Patriots program called? What's the AI? Uh, it's not the selected, sir. It's like fucking, um... S3. Yeah, the S3 program. <laughs> S3 human pro project or something. It will bring us freedom from the shackles of oppression. Wait, no, this is her. And it will now let's tap all these awful anti-woke mobs. Victor Red now scratches <laughs> his big head. His sort of singular hair on his head. As he looks Whoa, at wait. Whoa. Whoa, sister, slow down. There's no such thing as an... <laughs> did, she, did she interrupt you? <laughs> I don't know. Wait, shut the fuck up, you fucking... <laughs> As a- as an S. As an S. <laughs> Wait, and then right, uh, oh, Victor gets a <laughs> call on his codec. Okay, no, this is where we bring the big twat plot twist in. Okay, right from Doug Walker. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Something I can fucking work with. <laughs> And right, the president, the, the 47th president, the 48th president of the United States of America. The 40 what? The, four, the 54th president of the United States of America. <laughs> Come on, Victor! Come on, Victor! I want you to put together, I want you to put together a team of the most skilled Russians in the world. To infiltrate the anti woke mob's headquarters. Deal the information and get out. Victor says, why? Wait, wait, wait. So now are we Nazis? <laughs> are we Nazis? And then right, or are we Nazis? 
Uh, then right, uh, uh what fucking... intel is inside of the anti-woke mob headquarters? <laughs> Walker replies, It's a very big list. Basically all the stuff they've been hiding for us for years. All the ways we've been lied to, manipulated, and fed propaganda. <laughs> <laughs> Alex Jones walks in. <laughs> I'm gonna hit send after that. Boxing. It's like uh, in the beginning of a heist movie where like they're walking epically to music and like all the different heist guys start pulling up. It's like Reznov calls the president. He's like, "You gotta do this, Braddy Princess and Jordan." Gotta do it to save the world. <laughs> and Jordan Peele and the Braddy Princess are walking. Wait, what's like a typical Marvel thing to say? Like, you guys gonna need a like someone to watch your back. <laughs> like there's a veteran. You guys need some backup. <laughs> yeah, there we go. The veteran pull up in a. Uh, Jeep Wrangler. Reznov says, No thanks, <laughs> fine. You see, I have a plan to use the S3 plan to destroy the anti <laughs> He's like Solidus. Like... <laughs> but he's like the worst double agent ever. He just tells them his plan. <laughs> <laughs> he just says to Alex, like, Well, actually, I'm not on your side. I'm not just using it already. <laughs> <laughs> Should I keep this? Yeah, this is uh, good. <laughs> what an <laughs> Fucking. Peterson is stunned by Reznog's betrayal. <laughs> that didn't even get to start the heist movie. Yeah. I know, it, didn't, it hasn't even begun. Like, they haven't even left the starting area. <laughs> what the fuck are you talking about, man? Reznog says, I'm gonna use the plan Ooh. to free my country from the oppression of the West. How can you say that after all we've been through? <laughs> it just met me today. Okay, so that makes it make more sense, because he's a commie. Who's like going against the the anti woke woke left or whatever the fuck? <laughs> I lost the plot, bro. <laughs> it's actually a quintuple agent. Yeah, you know? it's just like fucking Ocelot. <laughs> He's in jail for like some reason that he doesn't even know. Yeah. He's like, I'm gonna I'm gonna use the anti wokes like Twitter. No, cause the prison was Twitter, so he's gonna use their fucking. I don't know, man. Right, you have to write like some uh, big fucking speech for him. No, no, just click send. I want to know like what, what <laughs> kind of awesome just... fucking political speech he's gonna give. The inkwells run dry. No, bro. No! No! All right, so we have to think of an ending of this thing real quick. We have like 10 million. Pop Wait, this is like... part one. This is part one. <laughs> this is the <laughs> conclusion. This is Phantom Blood. <laughs> Alright, right, um, just click send. Yeah, just click send. I want to know what the, what the fucking political speech Reznov is gonna give is. After all you've done for this movement, if you're serious, then you better come with me. It just says no thanks. <laughs> <laughs> fucking redo that. No <laughs> way. <It's> bullshit. <laughs> There's no glaze. Who cares? There's nothing left for me in Russia. I'm sick and tired of being oppressed by the West. Okay. That's Wait. All right. What? But like, if. Okay, so so he wants like a border. So he's against, a world without borders. Yeah, he wants a world without borders. He wants outer <laughs> heaven, of course. Yeah, <laughs> that's the whole plot. The chaos of the moment. Kyle Kulinski makes his debut. The heat of the moment. In the, in the chaos of the moment. No. In the chaos of the moment. In the chaos. In the, the chaos of the moment. In the chasso. You did it! Peterson shouts. You killed my bratty Peters, bratty princess. And now you'll pay! As he draws closer, Peterson realizes that the smoke isn't coming from his mouth, but instead it's coming from his... Oh no, what if Kyle is holding the vape in his hand instead of his mouth? What? It's fucking spiraling, man. Yeah, we try <laughs> We have to get a perfect, like, cliffhanger ending. Kyle rides the wave of confusion and mayhem as his grandiose entrance completely shocks everyone. Victor Reznov is shocked at the sight of Kyle Kalinske. <laughs> Where the fuck did this gay guy- I thought I said gay guy. Where the fuck did this guy come from? Not only is he a uh, communist, but he's also homophobic. And then, uh, right, Kyle Kalinske shoots Victor Reznov in the head. Like no! <laughs> he dies? He, he shoots him with his vape in the head. <laughs> like the nostalgic critic. You know, he didn't have a gun. Like, I don't know why he was assuming he had a gun. He shoots him with vape. <laughs> <laughs> he shoots him with his vape in the head. Right, Kyle blows. So bad he has to sit down. Killing him instantly. <laughs> <laughs> I, I kind of want you to write so bad he sits down. <laughs> right, after gnar like right after gnarly head rush. <laughs> it's like so bad he has to sit down. <laughs> it's like nothing's happening. <laughs> he just comes in and fucking uh, like mustard gases like, Reznov with his face. He gives Reznov Nick sick because he's a <laughs> dick from the 40s and he's never smoked like a fucking vape before. 
Victor Reznov is overcome with nostalgia. Man, it's good to see you, <laughs> Kalinsky. I need a minute to compose myself. <laughs> he just looks at his stopwatch. I don't. We try. <laughs> yeah, what the fuck? No, that doesn't make any fucking sense. How would Victor Reznov and Kyle Kalinsky know each other? They've never met each other in the it history. It breaks the lore! This is so fucking stupid. I demand the Schneider cut. I demand that they fucking release the Schneider cut. That we need. Fix your fucking game, man! Kyle <laughs> pulls out a Glock 17, shoots Victor Reznov in the head, leaving him dead on the floor of the anti woke mob headquarters. Welcome to the party, boys! Wait, wait, how are we already here? We were outside the 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 anti wait, the woke anti woke mob prison oh my God. known as Twitter. Another plot thread, dude. We have to redo it again because it that doesn't make any fun. I want you to, like, no oh. no hold up wait what what are we gonna say? You kind of want me to do what? He pulls out a Glock 17. Just just erase the whole part after uh, shoots him in the head. Like just right after the comma after head. Just delete everything before that. I mean after that. I was gonna say that like we could make it like. It's like the teleporter from zombies, and it's Reznov. <laughs> so, like, he shoots them and they all get teleported, but... Kyle laughs maniacally. You might remember me from the good old days. My name is Kyle Kalinske, and I'm here to make you all very rich. <laughs> Kyle Kalinske reaches in his pocket and pulls out a huge wad of cash. I'm gonna give each and every one of you a million dollars to walk away now. Remember my period? Otherwise... I can offer you a battle. You have no chance of winning. <laughs> Rather an anticlimax after what do you just to survive? <laughs> and then right up, uh, a big green portal opens behind Kalinsky. <laughs> he says, "Time to choose." <laughs> he steps into the portal, closes behind him. Reznov and Peterson stand there with disbelief as I watch the portal close. Victor Reznov looks at Peterson and says, Fuck, no, I, no, just redo Victor it. Victor Reznov is dead. No, we need this fucking story to end. <laughs> just click <laughs> redo. <laughs> I'm mad, we, I'm mad Reznov is dead, but All I guess we'll always have Peterson. All of them and Kuli Peterson stand there in shock, wondering what's happening. Kuli tells them, We've been tricked. Your awakened status is alive. You've been missing four, missing guy that led astray. You know, erase, erase what Kolinsky says and say, It's time to do it. <laughs> no, I like this. Wait, first of all... Okay, the Awakened Mob is their gang name. <laughs> the Awakened Mob. <laughs> we have to cut the Awakened. We have to cut this, dude. We can't. We, this has to fucking end. We can be like on a cutting floor, okay? It's like the cut faction, alright? Uh, yeah, as funny as the Awakened Mob is, <laughs> we can't keep the Awakened Mob. We'll bring it in the sequel, how about that? Okay, we'll dude. cut it and then we'll just fucking... You can, you, can, like, you, can cut, you can cut the whole fucking paragraph for all I care, I don't Peterson care. and friends. No, just Peterson. Everybody else, fuck them. I don't give a shit about it. Then fucking his stupid girlfriend will come back in the sequel somehow anyways. <laughs> like 3,000 years in the future. <laughs> so they're in shock, wondering what is happening. As he tells them, we have been tricked. You're awake and with a lie. You've been misinformed as Kylie and let us try. Die. Don't you choose. Kyle, Kyle stands. Peterson now is faced with a dilemma. You must either go to the through the portal and accept Kyle's <laughs> deal, or face total annihilation. Except Kalinsky's offer. I love how Kalinsky became a fucking elder god. <laughs> <laughs> you could just like shape shift the other characters from Akira. <laughs> Kalinsky leans in close and whispers in Peterson's ears. We have been deceived. You must awaken to reality. Peterson looks at his beloved bratty princess. <laughs> what should I do? Peterson enters the- Oh shit. <laughs> it's him. Bratty princess looks to Peterson, choose wisely. Peterson is like, it's a friend! <laughs> Kalinsky grabs me and drags him into the bed. Kalinsky leaves it to him. So, no, delete the last sentence right at the end. <laughs> just right at the fucking end. <laughs> two men through the green portal. Two men? No, it's just it's just Peterson that goes through. No one else. No, his beloved, beloved bratty prince. No, he doesn't, he doesn't grab his beloved bratty princess. <laughs> she just stays out there. Everybody else is just left in the fucking desert. And <laughs> that's the end of the plot line. <laughs> Peterson through the green portal. Leaving everyone, right, leaving everyone in, in the desert alone. Leaving everyone in the desert. I don't know why we're in a desert now, but that's kind of what I envisioned. That's, that's outside the 
You're doing a Twitter for Black me. Mesa. <laughs> Black Mesa. <laughs> you got really the desert alone. Um, to ponder what happened to to ye old Peterson. <laughs> Kyle laughs. I have much to do. <laughs> you have much to do. Why do all our stories always end with like some shit like this? We have much to do, friend. <laughs> You're right, the fucking skinwalker. <laughs> God, I have much to do. The indifferent man. <laughs> <laughs> One of the better stories for sure. <laughs> the indifferent man. <laughs> Much too. <laughs> oh my god. Kyle leads Peter through the green mm -hmm. portal. <laughs> like everyone in the desert alone to ponder. What Kyle's laugh Peterson. echoes throughout the desert. Just write that. <laughs> Old bean. <laughs> 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 Gold! Platinum Gold. award! Give me Platinum a fucking Emmy! Fucking award. <laughs> Everything, dude. Emmy, Grammy, BAFTA. <laughs> I love- I, my favorite character in this was definitely Peterson's dear beloved <laughs> bratty princess. <laughs> Just the fucking <laughs> ridiculousness. <laughs> oh man. And that's it. The end. Just write the end. I wanna hit send, and then the end. Let's see what happens. The sound of the portal closing brings out a sinister presence from the darkness. Where did you go? I have much to show you, old man. Who was the mysterious figure? <laughs> it's talking about Peterson at the end! It's such so, it stuff to show Peterson, but... So wait, there's two conflicting powers in this universe. That's the twist at the end. The twist actually, at the end is that there like, was another G-Man. It's the Y-Man. <laughs> <laughs> Kyle, Kyle is just his proxy. They said the same thing. It's two, it's two fucking elder gods fighting this over Peterson. This is so good. <laughs> yeah. I love this so much.